EEG Boulevard on the way to the Red Slave dive site. Red Slave is the southernmost mooring on Bonaire. On our right, a beautiful array of colors dance across the skyline. The wind is up and the kite surfers are living large. A brightly colored tour bus approaches from the south. You can just make out the Willem Storm Lighthouse in the distance. This is our stop. Hey guys, welcome back. I'm at the Red Slave dive site at the southern end of Bonaire. And I want to apologize for the long delay since the last video. Uh, what actually happened is I had to go have reconstructive knee surgery to fix a surgery I had done on my knee. You might have seen in the, an earlier episode in Rajan Pot. Also, while, you were, while we were gone, uh, we also went to South Florida and we're looking at a bigger boat. Uh, so that we can actually go and do some things we haven't been able to do before and including going to some of the other islands around here. So that's exciting. Also, the other thing that we've done is we've switched to the high definition color that you see in the, the newer television sets today and uh, you're going to see a big difference in the color and the quality of the video that is being filmed and most of what we've shot here uh, in the video you're going to see next is is like that but in this episode what we're going to do is we're going we're to take advantage of some knowledge our friends acquired uh, just be, by coming every day in the afternoon around one o'clock these beautiful spotted eagle rays came in here and we're out we've got them filmed we've got um, We've got a seahorse that we filmed here, and we've got uh, barracuda, some beautiful coral, lots of color, uh, even even the depth. Some schoolmasters, they're absolutely fantastic. And a very bashful, uh, shame-faced, or flame box crab, which we, we got a kick out of. So it's gonna be a great episode, but I wanna start by talking about this dive site quickly. So Red Slave is at the southern part of Bonaire. It is the last mooring uh, on the west coast uh, before you turn the corner here. The area is a very sandy area and it's a convergence zone from the currents coming from the southern end of the island and also coming down from the north. Sometimes there's no current, sometimes there is, and you can get caught in it. And the worst case scenario is when you have one coming from the north and one coming from the south and they converge and you create a rip going out. But that's farther closer to the point over there. So when you're, when you're diving here, just be wary of that. The way that we enter here is we enter over at this bollard. This bollard has been here, oh, at least since the 1800s. And this is where the salt ships actually used to moor to come in here to take salt. And you can see the, the slave huts down here. These were the people that, were, that worked the, the salt pans to bring salt to these uh, merchant ships that came in. If you were to go deeper at 150 feet and below, you've got some anchors, old salt ship anchors. We're, we're not going to be diving those uh, today, but it's a very interesting site. And I'm at a structure here. I don't remember which uh, building this particular thing is, but this is probably going to be the, the workhouse for uh, where people come in and they uh, coordinated the trade of uh, the salt coming in and out of here. And you'll see if you a little bit to the north here, you actually have a, a red obelisk and you have uh, what used to be red over here as well. So this is where the ships would actually know where they had to come in. But anyways, if you get in over here at the bollard, it's much easier to get in and out. A lot of people will go in over here at the slave huts and you get beat up pretty bad. You can see the waves coming over here and, and this is actually a, a relatively calm day. Just be careful when you're coming out of here. This is the best place to come in and out and it's really not a, a far swim at all to the point. So I'm not going to talk anymore. It's been a while. Let's go diving. This is the story of two divers who left the corporate world and moved to Bonaire to live a diver's life by the sea. Many only dream about this life. Our hope is to inspire you through our experiences and stories so that you can live the dream too. This is A Diver's Life. The water and sky 
reflection in my eye And it's true, so true That my life, that my life Is a she shy A great barracuda comes to check out Doreen. Maybe a little too close. A green sea turtle rests at the top of the drop-off. The school of Palometta reflects the sun against the deep blue sea. Green signals it's time to find that seahorse. Seahorse, check! The hunt is on. The Wooleries take the lead. Doreen spots it. We start to head for the wall. The yellowtail snapper looks startled. The eagle rays have arrived. They have come to feed on mollusks and crustaceans buried deep in the sand. Like fighter jets, they soar around for another pass. These palamettas stay close to pick up the scraps. This chill green sea turtle launches off the sand to get some air. This green lets me stay close, allowing me to capture this majestic glide path off into the blue. We join our friends Rick and Marcia Davis to check out the wall.
a blue parrotfish. A sand diver. A school of barjack join us on the walk. The lighting reveals amazing color. The brilliant yellow fins reveal the schoolmasters. Spectacular. Time to head in. Let's see what's in the shallows. A male rosy razorfish. Banded butterfly fish darkened for camouflage. A flame box crab or shame faced crab runs for cover. Something is hidden under all that coral. A closer look reveals a wheel. If you enjoyed this video, please like it and hit the subscribe button and the bell. It goes a long way to supporting this channel and helps you to know when new content is released. Thank you for watching.